Connections After Five was held at Discovery Place. Ten students graduate from Richmond CC Practical Nursing Program. And the Sheriff's Department arrests a larceny suspect. That and more are all coming your way on your Monday edition of Live at Five, brought to you by Richmond Community College. Richmond County's nightly news starts right now. Dozens of local business leaders joined together Thursday night as they gathered to partake in this month's Connections After Five event. Hosted by Richmond County Chamber of Commerce, in conjunction with member business Discovery Place Kids, this most recent installment of the Connections event series certainly piqued the curiosity of many and encouraged all to embrace their inner child, at least for a little while. Nearly 75 attendees arrived to the downtown museum and enjoyed a period of networking and play throughout the facility's eye-popping and curiosity-causing exhibits. After working up an appetite or a thirst, attendees were also welcome to enjoy heavy hors d'oeuvres from Patton's Downtown Grill, beer from Southern Pines Brewing Company, and Prosecco served with an ice-cold popsicle. Following a period of spirited networking, Chamber President Emily Tucker took to the mic to welcome the crowd and introduce Board Chairman Ken Hartley. Ken Hartley continued his speech by offering uplifting updates from the board regarding the Chamber's community actions and progress towards fulfilling this year's motto, Connect, Grow, and Promote, focusing specifically on the involvement of and feedback from the organization's members. Rounding out the night's speeches was Katie Rolder of Discovery Place Kids, who awarded door prizes and expressed gratitude to all attendees and event organizers on behalf of her and her staff. Attendees were once more provided the opportunity to mingle with one another, make new connections, become engaged in the museum's exhibits, and even bust a move on the dance floor. Ten graduates from the practical nursing program at Richmond Community College exited the Cole Auditorium on Tuesday night to a round of great applause from family and friends who supported these students over the past year. The practical nursing pinning ceremony is a culmination of the 11th month program which prepares students graduates to take the National Council Licensure Examination in order to become a licensed practical nurse. Dr. Dale McInnes, Richmond Community College President, welcomed everyone to the pinning ceremony and congratulated the graduates. He thanked the family and friends who supported the students over the past year and also acknowledged the nursing staff for producing another class of quality nurses. Registered nurse and clinical coordinator for Scotland Healthcare, Trudy Honeycutt, was the guest speaker for the ceremony. A graduate of Richmond Community College Practical Nursing Program in 2014, Honeycutt said she remembered the night four years ago when she was sitting where these nursing graduates were sitting waiting to be pinned. Honeycutt encouraged the graduates to try to learn something new every day and to be quick to lend a helping hand, even before someone asked for help. The Richmond County Sheriff's Office arrested Charles Jacob Dudley of Laurenburg on July 9th. Dudley was charged with felony larceny. The arrest came after an investigation into the disappearance of two diamond rings from a residence. Dudley was hired to work to do work at the home, and while inside the residence, Dudley allegedly took the two diamond rings without permission, and the ring, rings were later recovered from Dudley. He was arrested and placed in the Richmond County Jail under a $5,000 secured bond. When we return, Matt Harrelson will be bringing you your Live at Five weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. At Richmond Community College, we can prepare you for a high-skill, high-paying career in a variety of fields. From business to education, engineering, utilities, healthcare, criminal justice, information technology, and human services. At Richmond Community College, we can save you thousands of dollars on tuition through our university transfer programs that provide a seamless transition to universities and colleges throughout North Carolina. At Richmond Community College, we are always developing new courses and programs in response to the communities we serve. We offer day, evening, and online courses, and you can now complete five curriculum programs entirely online. At Richmond Community College, we believe in helping you prepare for a better life. Richmond Community College, local college, big impact. 
Joey Bennett. I'm the facility manager and director here at the Cole Auditorium at Richmond Community College. Uh, last June, uh, we had a razor pipe to bust and um, filled parts of our auditorium with water. We called HCI. They were on the scene within uh, easily within an hour. Uh, just a, a wonderful job by Tim Hayden and HCI's staff handling all the, the logistics of the destruction that had been left behind by the water. Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts is all about rustic home decor and gifts. You will always find a variety of unique antiques, vintage, and new items in our shop. Come and see our selection of housewarming, new baby, and wedding gifts. For the man in your life, we have many collectibles, boker knives, and leather. And ladies love the jewelry, purses, candles, hats, and t-shirts. We also offer a 30-day layaway program. Come and experience shopping at Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts. Today's Live at 5 weather report is brought to you by Simply Chic Boutique. And as you can see on the map behind me, there's supposed to be rain, rain, and more rain coming up over the next uh, few days. Uh, as we look here on the map, if we're starting towards uh, Wilmington area, it's going to be a high of 83 there tomorrow, high of 88 in New Bern, and a high of 88 up in Greenville. Moving towards the Sand Hills area, high of 85 in Southern Pines, high of 84 here in Rockingham, high of 88 in Laurenburg. Uh, moving towards the mountains area, high of 85 in the Queen City of Charlotte, 85 as well in Greensboro, and a high all the way down of 79 over in Hickory. But again, as I mentioned, a lot of storm clouds seen all over the map from one side of the state to the other. I do want to mention we were supposed to have plenty of rain today as well. Haven't really seen that much yet. Uh, so this could be a case tomorrow with the same thing where this uh, storm could end up moving past us and uh, could delay the rain clouds that we're expected to see. But looking at the five-day weather forecast, a uh, 80, high of 84 tomorrow, as I mentioned, low of 72 with an 80% chance of rain. It's supposed to be going on all day long. Same thing for Wednesday. Much rain expected, 70% chance then with a high of 85 and a low of 73. The chances go down a little bit on Thursday with a 60% chance of precipitation with a high of 87 and a low of 73. As we get into this weekend coming up, 50% chance on Friday, high of 86, low of 72. And then on Saturday, the temperature is going to climb just a few degrees to a high of 89, low of 73. Again, a 50% chance of rain that day as well. So even though we didn't see any rain today, you still want to make sure to get your umbrella ready because it is coming. Now, also coming this weekend is the Delta Aquarid Meteor Shower. It's going to happen this Friday and Saturday night. We're expecting 30 meteors per hour, so make sure to get your telescope ready. Uh, now, the full moon, full moon excuse me, will impact visibility of faint meteors, but of course the larger ones can be seen. And uh, if you want to do that, you need to look in the direction of the constellation of Aquarius. Now, for the weather that night, on uh, Friday night, a 50% chance of rain that evening with a high of 72 same thing for Saturday, once again a 50% chance of rain with a high of 73. Uh, so if you're planning on heading outside to take a look at that, again, might want to bring an umbrella with you. And that's going to do it for your Live at 5 weather report. And when we return for break, LRB Middle School Sports Complex is giving student athletes a new home. And Rockingham Dragway's Summer Sizzler Bracket Shootout event was stopped short by rain. Kelly has it all for you when we return to Live at 5. Exit Realty Platinum in Rockingham has listed one of the most beautiful homes in Richmond County. Located in Rockingham on Ledbetter Lake, the home features four bedrooms with bamboo floors and a kitchen featuring stainless steel appliances and granite countertops, and a master bedroom that overlooks Ledbetter Lake, along with a spacious tile shower and the attached master bathroom. The open living space leads to the back deck with a perfect view of Ledbetter Lake, and the property features its own boat dock. Want to see this beautiful home? Call Nicole Hayden with Exit Realty Platinum. Your source for homes in Richmond and Moore counties. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. 
So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. Hello, I'm Tammy Benson, and this is Nancy Bowling. And we're here to tell you about the wonderful service at hospice and what they have to bring from the nursing services to the medical director to in home aides to a chaplain to bereavement to everything you can imagine. They were there to take care of it. I cannot think of how the experience with hospice could have been in any better professionally, spiritually. It may be tucked in the northern part of Richmond County, but Ellerbee Middle School will soon be the home of the newest sports complex for local student athletes. Construction of the new family of Dr. William Lawrence Howell, football and soccer field is nearing its end as Wildcat athletes will now get the long-awaited facility that they have been without for some time. A project that planted its roots in the summer of 2016 with a simple question has taken several people on a journey to complete the project ahead of schedule. Christy Mabe, a former Richmond County Schools teacher and a current adjunct professor at Richmond Community College, took on the task as project manager with the help of RCS administration and outside sources. Among those who have aided in the project are Alan Admi, Willie Mabe, Dennis Quick, and Glenn Sims. While she was proctoring end of the grade testing in May of 2016, Mabe was approached by former LRB custodian Freddie Suggs with the idea to build a new sports complex at LRB. At the time, the football and baseball team shared one combined playing area, and the boys and girls soccer team played their games across town at Mineral Springs Elementary School. In the past two years, the soccer teams have since moved to Allerby, playing games on the baseball field area, created logistical problems to accommodate game schedules and practices. Noting that it has been a difficult task, heading up the project may wouldn't change any of it. And since Ellerby is a small school and is sometimes unable to get the funds it needs for big projects, Mabe is now certain the students will enjoy the new facility. Property adjacent to the school was donated by its landowners, the Howell family. A fundraiser that Ellerby held was a reverse raffle in the spring of 2017, coordinated by Aid Me and Suggs. Roughly $10,000 was raised, with $6,000 going to the field project and the remaining going to EMS athletics and groundskeeping departments. For anyone interested in donating funds to help complete the family of Dr. William Lawrence Howell Field at LRB Middle School, contact EMS at 910-582-7925. An overnight exodus of racers concerned about a potential washout of the final day of Rockingham Dragway's summer sizzler bracket shootout compelled track owner Steve Irwood to cut his losses and cancel Sunday's program. Before the weather issue arose, Roland's Buddy Dial and Lexington's Shannon Justice picked off the biggest shares of the purse as the top eliminator winners on Saturday and Friday, respectively. Dial used a .014 package to beat Tim Phipps in the Saturday final for the win. Justice won the main event on Friday over Lumberton's Tim Thomas and then applied an exclamation point by beating T.G. Peschel in the gamer gambler's race. Richard Charnock won the Saturday Gambler's race driving the Duke's Auto Salvage Chevy over the dragster of a dial. The footbrake titles went to veteran Steve Alford of Raleigh and Lauren Edwards of Maysville on Friday and Saturday, respectively. Both benefited from final round foul starts by their respective opponents. The next, next major bracket race at The Rock will be the Carolina Power Fest on August 24th through the 26th featuring the Blue Light Special. In the meantime, the track will play host the next three Saturdays to the Mass Acceleration Motorsport Streets Drags featuring unlimited time trial runs and the MXA Street Car Shootout. The track will also host a Smoke Out at the Rock Barbecue Cook-Off on August 18th. And that's going to do it for today's edition of Live at 5. If you haven't already, be sure to download the Richmond Observer app for your iPhone and Android devices. For all the latest news in Richmond County, visit richmondobserver.com. And for all your early birds, be sure to tune in to Good Morning Sandhills, Monday through Friday between 6 and 8.30 a.m. Thanks for watching Live at 5. Good night, Richmond County.